Alright guys, it's Dave from What's Proven UK and uh, it's time for another taste test and uh, today we're going to be doing a, a taste test of one of the brews that I did just before Christmas which is an Admiral's Reserve one of the uh, Woodford kids so I don't think I've tried this one, I can't remember I might have been drunk when I tried it so we'll give it a go now and uh, time for the pot. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got the clean glass, clean jug, do the jug first. So here we go. Good carbonation, as you can tell. So we'll give it a, a pour. Do the jug first. We can see this. Probably not. Get as much in the jug as we can. Trying to get a smooth pour, smooth as possible. Transfer to the glass. So we'll try to get that in. We hope that's in short. So I hope you can see that. Nice creamy head. I've uh, changed the uh, the way I carbonate these. So we'll just get the, the camera back in shot. There we go. Right, so this is Woodford's Admiral's Reserve. Quite cloudy because I've got a bit of uh, sediment in, but I'm not really bothered about that. Um, I've changed the amount of uh, all the other brews I've done. I've all got pretty crap carbonation because I wasn't putting enough sugar in the bottles when I was bottling it. So put a little bit more, not too much, about half a spoon, and uh, you can see that's got a, a nice head on there, nice and creamy. So we'll give it a sniff test. You can tell the, the hops in there. Malt, a bit fruity. Not the best taster in the world. Just a drinker. So, uh, but that's quite nice. Nice. Um, yeah, a bit of fruit in there. And uh, you can definitely smell the hops. And the bolt's coming through underneath. So yeah, time for the taste test. Mm. Bitter. Moldy. A little bit fruity. Good carbonation though. I wouldn't say it was a session. Pint. You couldn't drink a lot of these. You'd be on your back. I think that it's supposed to be about five percent, if I'm not too mistaken, not five point five. But it said that about one of the other beers that I'm going to do a review on a bit later. It said that was going to be five point five, and it measured five point five. But I drank it the other night, and tell you me, it was like rocket fuel. So we're going to give this a go at night. So that's the Admiral's Reserve. And this is a two can kit. So nothing was added to it, apart from what came with the kit. Um, I would say it was a, a dark amber. Can't really pick it up with this camera that I'm using. But the head, you can see the head. I've got lacing around the glass. So 
I know there's quite a few people say you can't out of a can kit, you can't get, you know, good head, good lacing, blah blah blah. But I think uh, that is a very nice pint. And that's a two can of kit, so it cost about, in the UK, about 22, 22 pound. And that's as good, if not better, than some of the crap that you get in the stores now, especially in cans. At least some of the stores are starting to do, you know, some nice uh, bottle beers. But that is, um, that's really nice. As you can see, it's still cheap in the head. That's going nowhere. It's a pity I can't get a really good shot inside the glass because uh, it just looks like ice cream. So, yeah, thumbs up with that one. That's the uh, Admo's Reserve. It's a Woodford's kit. Don't know if these are available in the US or Canada. Definitely available in the UK. And definitely, every, every one of them I've tested has been absolutely spot on. So, well done Woodford's for a great bunch of kits because they're absolutely spot on. I've had a bad kit yet. So, uh, Fingers crossed. So that's the Admo's Reserve. Apparently 5.5. And uh, oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. So if you can get one of these kits, you'll not be disappointed. Very nice. Very moldy. A bit fruity. Lovely mouthfeel, lovely and creamy. It's a dark amber, lovely head, nice head retention, and uh, good pint. So we'll finish this two litre bottle off, and uh, happy days. See you on the next one. Whoosh.